Okay, so just to recap, we are now going to put the theme on the 360 and get it loaded up and started. So if you first want to turn your TV on, surround system, or whatever you want to, whatever you have to do, and of course turn your 360 on. Okay, so this is what it should pretty much look like. Uh, as you can see, the lightning in the background. Sorry, I'm taking it from my phone. Not the best quality, but lightning in the background. Um, so what you want to do is you want to take your memory stick and kind of where you plug a wired controller in, or you can do it in the back. But you basically just want to, there you go, pop it in, just like that. Okay, and you want to use your controller. Go to my Xbox. Go all the way over to picture library. Go down to portable device. And then you could browse through this to find uh, whatever image you're looking for. So like here's my insane lightning. Uh, here's the green neon and the dog picture. Uh, so, basically, if you look on your screen, you can see that once you hover over a picture that you can apply, if you look down at the bottom, you can see it says press Y to apply as background. So let's just say I do that for... And you choose use this picture. It'll change. Voila! magic. And there you go. There's my background picture. Or another new one. Um, and if you hold on, I'm going to pause the video and I'll put the one I just made on the computer on. And hopefully you will like that. If not, oh well. So, yeah. Okay, and before I forget to tell you, um, just in case I didn't say this before, uh, when you save the, the picture you want from Photoshop, make sure it's a JPEG. Um, sorry if anyone did that already. Um, you'll have to go back and save it again. Um, but, okay, so... I'm um, going to go to your picture library on my Xbox, portable device, and find your picture which I showed you the one before, and now here's my new one, scroll theme. You can hit A to select it and view it. Or you can um, just go right ahead and apply it as a background. Choose yes, use this picture, and changes. Right now, if you saw there, um, I want to point that out again. See how there is a gray box? And it looks good, right? But if you do that, you see there, it is red. So if you want, you could always use Photoshop to change the color to match your picture, and, but you really don't ever see it. But that's just a one-case scenario. But there you go. That's what the background looks like now. Hope you enjoyed the tutorial. If you have any more comments, questions, concerns, suggestions, whatever, send me a message, post a comment on the video, and don't forget to subscribe. That's it. See you. Bye.